on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Siakam is out there with Neesmith. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And there's Miles Turner. And it's Nemhard in at the two guard. And for Golden State, out in the perimeter, Thompson and Wiggins. Jonathan Kaminga out there at Draymond Green. And it's Curry in at the one spot. And we know, Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. Now, here is Halliburton. Pass to Neesmith. Great D that time from Green. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Here's Thompson. Siakam pulls it in. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break right there for the D. Here's Nemhard. Turner inside, covered by Wiggins. Shots good by Turner. Confident in the paint, Turner knows he can cash in from this area. Here's Curry. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. Now, here's Neesmith. He's covered closely. Can't cash in from close range. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay. They get it again. Kicks it out to Wiggins. And again, no good by Golden State. Pacers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Neesmith, the pass to Nemo. Siakam, left side. Shot clock at five. A shot by Nemhard, no good. Warriors have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals. A second round draft pick in 2022, Clark Nemhard is pretty impressive. I might even categorize him as a surprise hit, if you will. He makes a huge impact out there when he's on the floor. And for somebody that was drafted in the second round, that's great value. Now, here is Halliburton. Following the boost by Jonathan Kaminga. He's finally get back to that Halliburton for I think it's one of those situations where it was a win-win all the way around, Greg. You think about it. The Kings benefited the Pacers did. Young players that have stardom in their future. And I think both players are going to be multi-time All-Stars. good from Halbert and Clark when we take a look at your former team the Indiana Pacers is it fair to say they're a work in progress most definitely Kevin I mean I think they've got some really outstanding young talent as well as a very experienced coaching staff that combination should bode well for the Pacers future Halliburton hits them both Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going. Offensive. I think this time out, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Now, here's Kaminga. Outside curve. Here's the three. The rebound by Turner. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Nemon. Warriors with the rebound. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Green. And it's easy to admire Green. His ability to work through contact is one of the reasons he's so valuable. 
Halliburton. That's good. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Curry passes to Green. Back to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. Kaminga up top. Covered by Siakam. Thompson misses. Pacers leading by four. Siakam finds Halliburton. And the shot is good. Tyrese Halliburton's got six. Just excellent concentration there by Halliburton. Not allowing the bump by the defense to throw him off his mark. There's the pass to Wiggins. Fades and shoots. And that one good. That would be fancy. Put the fade away on that one. So time out call here, the first for Indiana. You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence it's continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring. Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. McConnell passes to Halliburton. Good on the triple. Tyrese Halliburton. He's got nine. I think because Halliburton can knock down that three with regularity, you got to defend him closely at all times. Pass to Pajemski. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Ball right side. Out to Peyton. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by Halliburton. Six to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Now that's confidence. Sharon says, and Dario, I trust. Halliburton looking around. Nick Dermott for three. The Warriors pull it in. 125 left in the first. And Paul gets it to go in. The ball control that Chris Paul has is fantastic. I mean. Those dribble moves, and he's got a bunch of them. Look effortless. McConnell finds Halliburton. Left side, Walker. This is it to McDermott. Off target at the rim. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Warriors. Trailing by two. Paul dishes to Sharnich. the ball Looney down low working on Walker the score now all even his hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score the shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds pass to Halliburton Again, unable to change momentum. Paul surveying the floor. Over McConnell. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Paul's got his second best. And the end of one. A closer contested game so far. Warriors lead by two. The second quarter coming up right after this break. So don't go anywhere. so far we'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter and the Warriors guys what jumps out to you in this game uh, stats wise well when you control the glass you control the second chance opportunities on both ends and you know their rebounding advantage has been glaring simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter and it's the Warriors with the ball in the backcourt it's Curry and Thompson Green is out there with Kuming, and it's Wiggins in at the three, a small four. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Curry can't get it to go. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on 
in that possession. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to support defense or is it to the Warriors' talent level? Teams are still defending, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing Take and holding. Break. Take a break. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and doing things we've just never seen before. First free throw is good. And watching Steph go to work is watching a living legend. Already one of the best to ever do it. And he is still adding to his resume. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Nemhard, the pass to McConnell. And a missed late. Warriors leading by four. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Pacers are forming chemistry. Tyrese Halliburton said in recent years, they were saying the locker room was a quiet place, not many conversations. We've tried to impact the culture and create a different atmosphere. It's genuine. We appreciate and love each other. We want to see each other succeed and move people wrong. Kevin? Yeah, I know you agree with me. They are on their way. Delicious dive for Curry there. One of the reasons his teammates love playing with him. McConnell with it. Hasn't made one yet. The best in ammo. Over Thompson. And he overshot that one, missing. The Warriors have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Loads it up for Wiggins. And in Nice Nicely executed play there. Pass on target and Wiggins with the explosive finish. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's Nemo. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got three assists in the game. Thompson passes to Curry. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Indiana call for the foul. And that's what Curry will do for him. Force the defender to commit. Absorb the contact. Make it to the line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. Pacers trail by six. And the Pacers call time here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Time to get up and make some noise for your Warriors. Thanks, team. That makes you. Get up and make some noise once again for your Warriors. Thanks, team. Now, McConnell. Still yet to score. A shot by Nemhard, no good. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Wasting no time on that one. Thompson. Thompson's got the lead up to eight now for the Warriors. McConnell passes to Neesmith. Pass to Siakam. Warriors with the rebound. 
And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Now here's Curry. He lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Shot clock at six. Over in the corner, Kaminga. A three-pointer. Higgins. The Pacers pull it in. Turner's got four rebounds in this game. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. McConnell. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got his sixth rebound on the night. A beautiful reverse. Green. Green. He a 10 point Warrior lead. And Draymond is smart at knowing when to shoot the ball, especially when he's got strong position inside. Siakam passes to Nemo. McConnell scanning the floor. And there's the whistle. Yeah, the illegal screen. And not the Golden most common the NBA, but hard to argue that that pick wasn't court. illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. For Looney the comes in for Green. And Paul subbed in for Thompson. Now, here's Kaminga. Scoreless thus far. Feeds it to Wiggins. Swings over McDermott. And it's Wiggins missing. Pacers trail by 10. McDermott kicks to Smith. Halliburton against Paul. Halliburton climbs in. And Halliburton slams it in. First up, quickness that time from Halliburton. Got the defender on his heels. Ball finds Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. Halliburton against Paul. It's stolen by Smith. Indiana again turning it over. Warriors basketball. Substitution on the court. Warriors leading by eight. And the Warriors miss again. Now, here is Halliburton. He's got 11. Ball outside. 52 seconds left now here in the second. The shot's good. And despite being about six feet tall, and Paul has always been an opportunistic rebounder. Halliburton inside the three-point line. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Pajemski. Nemhard grabs the board. Pacers trail by 10. Here's McDermott. The rebound by Baton. It's taken away by Smith. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Halliburton against Paul. Halliburton on the wing. Clock at four. And the basket is good. Halliburton's got 13 points. Very good composure and control that time by Halliburton. Not allowing that physical defense to affect his shot at all. And That's so it's the Golden the State Warriors holding on to an eight-point oh, lead heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense the setting the tone. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and they've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. 
one half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They led by two after the first. They found a nice groove in the second quarter, running out to an eight-point lead. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They were getting after it on the glass, like while they're they got a nice edge in that department, which has led to this lead. Now we'll see if they can keep that going. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on Indiana. A combination of poor shooting and poor shot selection. That's what my take is. They need to be more patient, run the offense all the way through, and let everyone touch the ball. Otherwise, they're playing into the other team's hands. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Tyrese Halliburton has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State on the court for Indiana. Siakam is up there with Turner. Then it's Neesmith. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Nemhard in at the two spot. Now here's Kaminga. Still scoreless. Right now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. These days the ball is in Pascal Siakam's hands. He says it means everything. Being on the ball just gives you a better rhythm. I don't think it's hard. It's just something you grow into. I have those images in my head of where I want to get to. Now, defenses often look to double, and he said, if I played me, I would do that too. Kevin? <laughs> All right, David, thank you. Now, here's Curry. Wiggins, right side. Basket, good. Andrew Wiggins has got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. And that's a nice play. Under duress, Wiggins staying aggressive. Sinks the contested shot. Here's Siakam. Banked in off the glass. Siakam. Siakam's got his first two points. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Now, here's Kaminga. The second chance effort. Pacers with the rebound. Turner's got six rebounds in the game. To the paint, here's Siakam. The shot that time, not on target. Wiggins with some nice deep. Curry passes to Kaminga. Good D by Siakam. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton Pacers of pride ball. in what he does on defense. <laughs> the Pacers making a change here. McConnell. McConnell's checked in. Pacers trail by eight. Halliburton outside. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Tries again. And that's two points on the lane. Reese Halliburton. Halliburton's got 15 points. How about Halliburton getting his hands dirty, going in there, crashing the offensive glass? Love the versatility. Curry passes it to Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists now in this one. Passes to Turner. Over Green. That one's in there. The Warrior lead has cut to just seven points in the basket from Turner. Boy, tough trying to match Turner's intensity. I mean, once he's committed to scoring the ball, you're not stopping it. Curry finds Wiggins. Outside Curry. Now here's Kaminga. Covered by Siakam. Five on the clock. 
A three-pointer off the mark. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute them because his shot making is not happening right now. Warriors foul. Jonathan Kuminga. First personal foul. First the Pacers have had two chances at the line already the line making a bonus. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. That's good for Neesman. Walker's checked in for Indiana. Toppin comes in for Pascal Siakam. And so he makes both from the line. Warriors leading by five. Thompson outside. Now, here's Looney. He's tightly guarded. Pass to Pajemski. Charge outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Charge has got six. An effective score from all over the floor. Charge has a bunch of confidence in his jump. To Walker. Here's Toppin. And the pass to Neesmith. Second shot opportunity. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Some solid defense from Sharish. McConnell against Paul. And he uses the glass on the way. And it's a 10 point Warrior lead. Good job executing in tight. Ball doesn't fear anybody when he's in attack mode. And finished off by Walker. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition, switch, ignited. And here are the Warriors now, following the score by Indiana. Here's Pajemski. The putback. It's good on the putback. Looney's got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. And the foul Pacers on Charles Walker. Walker. That is his first foul of the game. Foul. And the Warriors get some changes. Raymond Green, who's checked in for Sharich. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Thompson. Doug McDermott, he's checked in for Indiana. Warriors leading by eight. Paul kicks it to Looney. Golden State moving it around. Outside, Baton down low. Here's Green. It's rebounded by Indiana. Out to the right wing. Now, here's McConnell. Tight defense on him. Golden State's gone 2 of 5 with a three point shot since coming out of the break. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by Halliburton. 11 feet away. Almost, but it rolls out. And here's McConnell. No scoring in this one. Toppin finds Halliburton. High arcing shot. He gets that one. Tyrese Halliburton, take a bow, young fella. You deserve it. You have been outstanding. Oh, Listen to this crowd right now. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. And we'll be right back after this. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. 
And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. They're going to go small with Paul and Curry as the guard pair. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Andrew Wiggins, and it's Green in at the five down low. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. And Green shakes it in. And this is the fire green up. Whatever he does to it, it, it gets the whole team energized. This is a Dynamo. It's stolen by Green. Here's Paul. He feeds it to Green. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got seven rebounds in the game. Halliburton outside. Siakam looking around. Shoots over Kaminga. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Siakam. And Siakam always has options in the mid-range. He's a talented shooter who can make that shot. Kaminga the pass to Kirk. Another three for Golden State. It's been this way since halftime. So in this production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Finished off the break. And it's nine points for Stephen Curry. From Green. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. And another place they're finding success is in transition. They've been working hard to get ahead of the defense and find those easy ones. Green dishes to Paul. The trade. And another three for Golden State. Oh, yeah, the Warriors is having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Halliburton outside. Pass to Turner. Here's Nemhard. Can they get it? The Warriors with the rebound. Green's got his eighth rebound here tonight. He gets to ball. Pass to Kaminga from deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Ball with the defensive effort. And it's the Warriors ball. Big stretch here going 10 2. Wiggins outside. Misses the three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Looking to get it going. He takes it up and lays it in. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. The drive by Paul. Lays it up. And yeah. it Paul's got five points now in the quarter. You know, for a player that's a bit undersized, he's still compactly built. Chris Paul driving the lane, knows how to angle his body, change his release point. Whatever he has to do, he'll do it in order to get a shot. Timeout called the Pacers. And they just can't seem to get going. I think this timeout has to be brought some players to create some high percentage shots. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Chris Paul. Well, he made the defense look absolutely helpless because whatever they tried to do, he had a counter for. You could see their frustration mounting, and that led to his confidence growing throughout the ball game. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. The pass to Thompson. Two minutes for the 10 foot. Two minutes. It's rebounded by Nisnev. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. 
That's one you got to convert. That shot off. Good D by Thompson. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Good, and Curry gets the assist. That's seven points for Clay Thompson. Late in the game. Up big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and slop your ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock again. Shots good by Turner. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Warriors. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Chris Paul. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see why he was a difference maker. Curry looking around. Here's Wiggins. And it goes for the fifth time in 10 shots for this game. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. A shot by Nemhard, no good. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Change the three point Saw the opportunity to put this away. Did not turn it down. And you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Back to Turner. Puts up a deep three. No good there. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but I really appreciate just what a 